cannot wait to share our lesson with you today. Today's lesson is about how God helps us to show mercy. We've been learning about the Israelites and how they really wanted a king and God gave them a king and their very first king's name was Saul. Problem was Saul did not want to trust God and follow God's plans so the kingdom was taken from Saul. But God had a plan, and last week we learned that the prophet Samuel went to Bethlehem and he anointed David to be the next kid. But David was still a kid and he had some growing up to do, and he wasn't going to officially be king until Saul had passed away. So David went and he learned and he still continued to take care of Jesse's sheep. And we learned that his brothers were off fighting a battle and David went to check on them for his father. And we learned last week that David helped the army defeat the Philistines by taking on the challenge of the Gol Goliath, the giant. Well, David continued to work with the men, the army, and he continued to help Israel defeat their enemy. As a matter of fact, when David would come back into the town after these battles, the people would chant things like, Saul has killed his thousand, but David his ten thousands. Now, David didn't do any of it for glory for himself. He was doing what God had called him to do. But Saul, because he had lost the kingdom, the spirit of the Lord had left Saul, and Saul became enraged with anger and jealousy towards David. So all Saul wanted to do was kill David. But God wasn't going to let that happen. So God helped David and his band of helper friends escape. And Saul would chase him all over the kingdom, and David and his men, they would hide. And one time, David and his men were being chased by Saul and the army, and David and his men hid inside a cave. Well, Saul and his army were looking and looking, and they couldn't find him, and they came to this cave, and King Saul went into this cave. Well, David's buddies were like, hey, David, now's your chance. You can kill the king. But David was like, uh-uh, that's not what God told me to do. But you know what David did? He reached out, he cut the bottom of the king's robe, and the king left the cave. And then David and his men came out, and he's like, oh, king, take a look at what I just did. Now, David probably, according to his friends, had every right to take Saul's life. Saul was after him. Saul was trying to kill him. But David, because God had taught David great mercy and great grace, was able to give great mercy to Saul. It's kind of like what we need to do with the people around us. Sometimes, especially as we're getting ready to go back to school, there might be people we encounter who are just plain mean. But God doesn't want us to take revenge. God wants us to show mercy. Do you know why? Because when we show mercy, then God's grace can come through and change a situation. And trust me, God changing a situation is better than anything we could ever do. How about we pray and ask God to help us show mercy this week? Jesus, thank you that you came and offered me and the children listening great mercy. Lord, you didn't want our sins to separate us. So you took our place and no longer do we have to be separated. And that was the greatest gift of mercy we could ever receive. 
Jesus, would you help us to extend that same mercy to those who aren't as kind to us as we would like them to be, to those who are mean to us, those who say nasty things about us. Would you help us to be merciful, just like David was merciful to King Saul? Thank you that you love us. Thank you for making a better plan for us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so that's your challenge this week. Go and show mercy. And in the meantime, let's stay in the word, stay in prayer, and stay connected. See you later.